My name is Brent Charlesworth. I live out here at Marathon, Texas. And we have Charlesworth Ranch Company and fall of the year we ship a lot of yearlings um, to the feed yard. And, and uh, you know, on these, this ranch is a really big ranch and we use dogs, horses, kids, helicopters. Um, I really like, I, well, one of my beliefs, I mean, we can, you can use horses and helicopters and dogs, you know, all together, there's, there's time and a place for everything. Um, I like the fact that the helicopter, on the days you're shipping, um, you know, you can use it to get your drive started and get everybody to the, to the pen and get your cattle counted. And once you get your cattle counted, if you're 50 to 100 head short, you can send the bird back up. And while the cowboys are loading trucks, you know, he's still out and can be gathering, you know, what's your short or, or another pasture for that matter. Um, but, you know, there again, the helicopter, it is a tool. And your tool is only as effective as the guy using it. And that's, I use Aubrey Lang. I've used him forever. And he is, I mean, he's a master. He's got more hours in R22 than any one man walking. Uh, and with that being said, um, you know, it's a tool and there's a time and a place for it. In the spring of the year when we're turning cattle out, I don't use the helicopter just because I like to be horseback in these yearlings and, and, you know, try to keep them gentle and you can see them a lot better that way. But, uh, you know, there's time and a place for everything. Yeah, my, my girls are really important. Uh, Coley and Emily, uh, they go with me in the fall when we're shipping, you know, every day and they're they're just as handy as most grown men. Um, I mean, they're, they're where I drop them off that day. That's where they're going to be, um, and you can count on them to be there. I mean, if if they're not there when the drive comes together, then they either have more cattle than 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 anybody, or you know, there's some bad wrong. But I mean, I, I depend on them as much as I do a grown man. You know? This country is it's it's crazy. I mean, it's big. It's you know. A lot of brush. The pastures are big, um, so you know that's that's why these yearlings are kind of a fit for out here. You know they can they can get around. They use the country. Um, a lot of real mountainous elevation to 6,000 feet. You know to 3,500 feet. So you go from a greasewood flat to pinon pine, and those yearlings use it all. Um, you know we have 200 miles of water line on this place and. You know, it's, it's just, it's, it's a big piece of country. Yeah, this, this is the, uh, the AS Gage Ranch. It's been here for, you know, over a hundred years. Um, really good family to work for. Um, and they, uh, it's just, it's, it's private property and there's, there's not many places like it left in the United States. You know, I, I, I man, I love this place and the girls, you know, everything you do is kind of for them. And uh, I hope that one of these days they, you know, they want to get back into it.